cytokine. <laughs> Chrissy Debra there. But moving on, uh, before we wrap up for the news update, government announced the compulsory wearing of nose masks after lifting a three-week lockdown. Now, bar in the northeast regional town of Bunkrugu, a casualty glance shows nearly 99% of the population uh, simply just wear no masks at all. Social distancing, regular hand washing and the use of sanitizers are also not being observed, especially in market centers. Well, we decided to have uh, all these observations put together in a report compiled by Lian Sutanko. It's a busy day here at Buprongo Market. Residents seem to have thrown government social distancing caution to the wind as they flood market centers, drink in sports and also organize public gatherings. The community of 3,000 people has only three Veronica buckets, one stationed at the chief's palace and the remaining two at the market center and the district assembly premises. Some of the residents who spoke to Joe News blamed the local authorities as they claim face masks and other personal protective gears are not even readily available in the area for purchase. Up for here, the face mask that our mask that I was having is the one that's when it's dirty you can't wash it again. It's the paper one. So when you wear it two days, you can't continue to be using it all the time. So that's the reason why I'm not wearing some. If you get some, we will wear. Frankly speaking, you just feel over that can acquire this sense. Uh, within the area, some are selling it three, some four cities. The majority of our people cannot afford to buy this those marks it's very difficult to get it because when they bring it we cannot afford some of us cannot afford to buy it so that is why some of us are not in those marks for others they believe they could be immune to the virus district chief executive alhaji majid dut acknowledging the concerns raised by the residents assured the assembly is acquiring face masks and other personal protective materials which will be distributed to the residents we are trying as much as we could to see especially in the offices we want this week to control face masks as being directed by the national security that we should try the MMDC, uh, the MMDs should try and ensure that we procure face masks for all workers within the district and even supply to the market only. If you can remember all these things, we are working to see what we can do within the week, not next week. The same story here at Buprungu can be told in other parts of the northeast region, indicating the urgent need for authorities fighting the pandemic to pay attention, especially in rural communities, where there is already a vicious cycle of poverty, hunger, well, make sure you join us this morning. There are a lot of people who always look forward to us. Um, uh, some particular persons, uh, Mrs. Felicia Irajua Danso. Uh, good morning to you. Work with the University of uh, Cape Coast uh, School right here in Accra. And also, it's your birthday this morning. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Doris Aku Oklu, you live in Akachi with your husband. And uh, Mensa Oklu, uh, have a great one as well. And um, Evelyn Yachi Bafo. Have a great time. Good morning to all of you. We'll be right back after this.